Hello everyone, this is Keith Ritual, and today is day 8 of Halloween. Today we are just doing pretty much the Powerpuff Girls look as pretty much e as simply re represented on a human face. As you can tell, it doesn't really... it's sort of weird looking. It looks more like I'm wearing a mask. If you'd like to see a drag version of this, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And I will see you all in a second to start this look. I'm going to take some Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm going to just pat this all over my brows to make sure that they dry nice and flat. Now while those are drying out, we're going to prime the face. I use, I always use is my Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield as my primer. And I'm just going to put this all over my face, of course, except for my brows. But for the eyes, I'm going to be using my Firm X Peter Thomas Roth Eye Lift as my eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to pat that on. Now, the main focus is the fact that the Powerpuff Girls have giant, ungodly shaped eyes that are about two thirds the size of their face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm just going to take this white pencil by Clinique. This is the number seven angel hair. I'm going to take a little bit of that out, and I'm going to stencil where I want to put sort of the, the four sections of my eye. So number one, I'm just going to leave as um, the white of the eye. And I'm going to make this more of a closed eye look so that when you close your eyes, you get the full effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of, I'm going to start with the black area. So the black area is probably going to be around where my brows are. And what you want to do is you want to look straight into the mirror when you do this so you get a nice clean circle. You could use a stencil if need be. And this is just so that we get a like, nice little stencil out of what we're doing so that when we draw them on we don't have to like fight repairs. I'm going to touch that up a little bit because I pull a little bit off. Now I'm going to start where the green goes. So the green is more of a, like a sort of crescent that goes pretty much from the inside of the eye and just sort of gets bigger as it goes out. And then comes back into the eye. So I actually changed it to this uh, Italia Deluxe White Liner just for the fact that I really do like this Clinique and I'm hitting it hard. And honestly, Clinique is, the brush isn't known for creating nice smooth lines. It's known for being long lasting and this is known for being smooth line but not long lasting and these don't have to be long lasting. And now it's time for the final part which is like a little crescent on the bottom. And this is the outside of the eye. Okay, and now we're going to do the inside, which is pretty much just going to be my actual eye uh, lid crease and under eye crease. I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Cream Shadow Palette, Cream Flash Palette. I'm going to take a tiny little brush. And I'm going to stencil out my eye center. Well, not stencil out, fill it in. And this is going to be our base. We are going to set it soon afterwards to sort of make sure it stays and is smooth and clean. I'm now going to take um, a flat shadow brush of sorts. I'm going to take Taco by Sugar Pill, which is a white eyeshadow, and pat that on to make it nice and thick and even. Don't worry about the, the, the perfectness yet. We're going to worry about that with the black when we put that on next. My black body paint by Meron. My, one of my favorite things to use in these videos, if you haven't noticed. Now, if only I could open it, that would be amazing. There you go, open. So we're gonna take a 
small angle brush. This is the BH Cosmetics number 12. I'm gonna dip it in water, dip it in the paint, and stencil. Sort of really clean up around the eye real quick. And then fill all the, all the area that's supposed to be black as well. Yay, perfect circle. <laughs> I think. <laughs> but now we're gonna go in with color and let's see what color comes out. Oh, no, there's a moon buttercup. I got the first thing that's in my thing is green. So I'm gonna take another small angle brush. This one is just a Coastal Sense one. And we're going to, again, first outline and then we are going to fill in. And this is Light Green by Maron. And now we're gonna use a lip brush. This is the Sugar Pill lip brush we're gonna use because this is what I grabbed. I'm gonna really load that up. And now we're going to fill in our last circle with white. Of course, first outlining. Okay, now that we have finished the giant ass eyes, we are going to apply our foundation next. So you've already primed our face, so I'm just going to apply this foundation. And I'm actually going to use a beauty blender this time, even though it's not recommended for this foundation. Just so that I can get a little more control over it. I'll spray that on my arm, because my hand is covered in black eyeliner. Just pat that on. This could also help clean up any extra white lines I have around the face from stenciling. Okay, now we are going to actually contour a little bit, just to give it a bit more of a feminine face, I wanna say. Um, even though they are very round, um, this seems very plain to me. So, where is my contour? There it is. I'm gonna use the Tarte Contour Kit. I'm gonna take the number three, four contour. I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics number four white collection brush. I'm actually going to bring my contour like pretty much next to my jawline. I'm bringing it lower than natural. Just now I'm going to take number four contour, the darker one, and go right under that to really darken it up. Now we're going to cut a little bit. Still being very gentle with it though. I the translucent powder by Laura Mercier to sort of create a harsher line by blending out everything. And I'm actually going to apply a lip gloss of some sort. I'm going to actually use the dark color since this is Buttercup. And I'm going to focus it mostly on my lips, the center of my lips. This is about where we're going to get unless we decide to dragify this look, which I just I didn't want to make every look a drag look, so I just wanted to sort of, I guess, create the eyes and see what happens. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Bye. I hope you all enjoyed this video of how to pretty much stencil out the Powerpuff Girls' giant ass eyes. Um, if you'd like to see more, don't forget to click the check these two videos out over here. Also, subscribe down below and check out another video. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and tell me what you thought, and I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Bye.